Pirate Chain Merge Mining on the Verus Network recently launched, and a lot of people have been asking why they can't see their Pirate Chain rewards in their Verus wallet. So today I'm going to walk you through what you need to do in order to import those rewards. Now, what kind of what's happening is the Verus side has its own private key. Pirate Chain kind of has its own private key, and all of the rewards from merge mining on the pool side are being paid out to the Verus wallet address, and by default, that private key isn't imported. So all we need to do is import that. So before we talk about that, one of the things I do want to mention is it is merge mineable now, Pirate Chain, and pools like Luck Pool and some other pools are have already adopted it. And if you hop on over to Luck Pool, you will see recent blocks, and you'll now see this section down here for the merge mineable pirate chain blocks. So you can see that ver uh, that Luck Pool in this case is hitting all of these uh, blocks for merge mining. So we know the rewards are coming in, and if we want to check to see if we're actually receiving rewards, uh, typically we would go over to our pool stats but right now they haven't fully updated this yet for the merge mining chain so if you look at your dashboard you're only going to see the various you're earning however if you copy this address which is your mining address and then we hop on over to the main page for luck pool where it shows the blocks if we just click on one of these block heights we can see this is actually taking us to the Avaris Pirate Chain Merge Mining Chain Explorer. So then what we can do is we can plug in our Varus wallet address and we can see we actually do have rewards. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on over to the Varus wallet the, and I'm using the desktop wallet here and what you can see is right now we just have a couple Varus in here. This is uh, a smaller phone farm that I'm mining to I periodically withdraw from. So right now we just have 3.2 Varus in here. And what we want to do is we want to go to add coin. And then we're going to select this add public blockchain as a service chain. The drop down, this is going to show you any of those uh, blockchain as a services, which are essentially going to be your merge mineable options. And you, we can see the only option in here right now is VR which is basically R is the pirate chain ticker and V means it's on the various network. Then we're going to hit continue and I'm going to do native. I'm going to hit add coin. Now whenever a blo blockchain is spun up on Varus, it does begin at block zero. So this sync will go extremely quick because at this point this blockchain is only uh, about a week or so old. So you can see it's syncing, it's at 94%. We'll just give this a minute for it to fully sync all the blocks. Okay, it's fully synced. And now what you're going to notice is our balance is still showing zero, even though on the Explorer it showed 0.3. And the reason for that is the private key is different in this wallet than in the Varus wallet. And all of our payouts poolside are going to the Varus wallet. Because when we mine, we're not giving it a pirate chain wallet address we're just giving it our Varus wallet address so what you want to do is you want to go to Varus and then you want to pull up your wallet info so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do receive and here we can see our we've got two addresses here you're going to want to find the address that is the correct one you're mining to you're going to click the three dots and you're going to say copy private key so you're going to go ahead and do that and now what we want to do is we want to hit this little settings icon at the top right. And then we're going to go to coin settings. This is going to give you the CLI that you can run any of the blockchain commands on. And then what we want to do is we want to switch our chain to the pirate chain on Varus, so the VARR. So now in order to actually import the private key, we're just going to do a run import PRIV key. Then we're going to do double quotes where we're going to paste in our private key there. And then we're going to do space. We're going to do empty quotes again. And then space and true. 
And then once we paste in our private key into those first double quotes, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to run. It's going to import our Varus private key from the Varus coin into the VARR chain. And what then should happen is we should be able to see all of our funds, access them, and then anytime we're getting those mining rewards, they should immediately be available in that wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and do a control V here, paste it. We're going to run the command and then we will hop on over to the wallet. Okay, I imported it and hopped on over to the wallet and you can see we now have our 0.32 VARR. And if we do receive, you can see we now have that wallet address that is both in the Varus chain and also the VARR chain. So all of our mining is gonna come into this. Uh, the uh, secondary private keys, right, that generated when we imported the VARR chain are here. Uh, we don't really need to use those. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be transacting with this one. And so if we take a look at that key, if we do the QR code, this is our wallet address, and we can see it ends in 6U which should match if we hop on over to Varus and we do receive. And this one, if we do generate QR code, we can see it ends in 6-0. So those are now essentially the same wallet. So anything that we, if we sent VIRR directly to that address, it would automatically pop up in here. If we sent Varus to it, it would automatically pop up in here. And this is also gonna allow us to do conversions and all of those sorts of things. So that's all you need to do to get the funds imported. So from now on, any of the mining rewards that I get from Luckpool for merge mining will automatically hit the wallet. And in fact, you can see the history here, did import the history. We can see I am getting daily payouts from Luckpool. I have been since April 2nd, it looks like, was the first transactions. Uh, yep, so like right at that cutover, we got 0.2, we got a lot more uh, because we were one of the early miners mining it when it launched. Uh, but since then, uh, pretty much every day, we have gotten rewards coming into our wallet. So everything looks like it's working great. Uh, we've got our merge mining rewards hitting the wallet. So that's it for this video. Just kind of want to give you guys a quick walkthrough of how you import that private key. And keep in mind, you're likely going to have to do this anytime there's a new chain that gets spun up that's merge mineable. Uh, because poolside, unless they change the pool protocols or anything like that, you are going to be getting the rewards to basically your Varus wallet address. So you're going to want to have that private key in any of the other coins within the desktop wallet.